Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Matt and it is Bloodthirsty Thursday. Yes, folks, it is almost TGIF. Hard to believe this week is almost done already. Thank goodness. Uh, before I get on to anything, I do want to wish each and every one of you a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk. All that lovely stuff because life really is too short as is. Please do like, share, and subscribe. I love seeing each and every one of you every Monday through Friday, permitting my schedule, of course, and then major holidays, which by by the way, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get one up tomorrow. My schedule is looking a little hectic, but I will do my best to get something out for you guys. Um, and then also do me a really huge favor and check out the information in the description box. I give you a little bit bigger of a bite there just so you can, uh, it'll help you decide if you wish to track down a copy, uh, to purchase it, stream it, do whatever it is that, that you do to watch your films, your movies, whatever it is you do. Um, it'll definitely help you get a bigger, a little bit bigger of a taste because I give you uh, your brief synopsis, your starring cast, director, runtime of the cut I am watching along with an MPAA rating if there is one that exists which most of the time there isn't. Yesterday was one of those rare occasions when there really was one uh, uh, and then also I try to give you some trivia if there's anything worthwhile of mentioning and then of course a link for a trailer or a link for a scene from the movie itself. I try to give you all that little, little bit extra for you guys. Which today is definitely a link for the trailer. I will tell you that um, I don't think... I think the one that I got was uh, definitely not safe for work. Uh, there was some, some boobies in it. So if if you are uh, offended by boobs in trailers, don't watch it. Um, and it does give you a nice good uh, uh, idea of what kind of movie you're getting into. Because it is very similar to stuff like The Conquering Worm or a.k.a. The Witchfinder General. Which is a very, very good film in its own starring Vincent Price. But this one is a... is. Uh, much much different it is definitely um, a witch hunt type film very similar in style it's just a lot more graphic than that one it, it really pushes the boundaries especially for 1970 this was fil filming started in 1969 and ended in ended in was released in 1970 so 50 years ago it's hard to believe that this is already that old it is none other than mark of the devil yes folks this is a very 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 good movie in my opinion uh it's it's one of those that i know that there's a really sweet blu-ray upgrade from arrow video that i do really want to upgrade to that because this one i believe is probably i think it's cut by a minute um i'm not a hundred percent um uh, IMDb's are usually a little off on their times on on the links of movies. They have it listed at a at an uh, um, an hour and thirty seven minutes. On here, it's listed as just under an outer hour and thirty seven minutes. It's like an hour and thirty six minutes and forty some seconds. So it's it. Uh, um, I believe it is. It might be cut just a little bit. Um, there are a couple little scenes where it seems like it was snipped short a little bit, especially a, a scene where a guy gets his his uh, digit. It's chopped off and he gets tarred and feathered. Very, very uh, uh, cruel thing to do to somebody. But uh, if they deserve it, I guess... I don't know. <laughs> but before I get onto the movie itself, I do want to tell you a little bit about this release. Like I said, this is not the the sweet Arrow Blu-ray, obviously. This is the DVD from Blue Underground, if you see the label down there. Uh, as far as they go, there's usually no reversible artwork. You get a uh, uh, usually a little artwork um, with uh, a chapter index on the inside. And this is a standard issue pressed DVD, by the way. So if you... Uh, have any problems with DVDRs? You definitely do not. You're not going to run into that issue here. Uh, definitely not with these bigger labels because they they definitely have the the means to to uh, uh, manufacture uh, a, a great absor a great uh, amount to uh, um, be able to get a, a, a bigger cast a bigger net out there they can afford it unlike some of the independent stuff underground stuff that i do uh some of them poor guys are are lucky to make even 20 discs you know it, it can be really really uh, a hard game to get rolling into that's for sure now, as far as special features go with this one, it has a couple of, of special features on here. You've got a, a uh, audio commentary, which I forgot to see. It's with director Michael Armstrong, which um, I kind of take that one. I, I want to... I wanna 
listen to it at some point. Uh, I'm really curious what he has to say because he is listed as the main director. And then we got um, Adrian Hoven was uh, an uncredited director. And uh, most of the uh, um, actors are willingly admit that uh, Hoven did more of the filmmaking and, and um, uh, Armstrong was more of a, uh, uh, a, a thought guy. He, he was, he wasn't really um, as stern about filming. He wasn't as productive as um, Hoven was. And they talk about that in in the special features. They have uh, one, two, three, four, four different interviews with with four different care four different actors. You got Udo Kier in there. You got um, a uh, interview with uh, uh, Herbert Fuchs, I believe, was on there. Um, in Ingeborg Schoner was on there, and then there was one other gal. I think it was Olivia Vuko, if memory serves me correct. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Udo Kier, Herbert Fuchs. Gabby Fuchs and Ingeberg, Ingeberg uh, uh, Schoner, like I said. <laughs> Either way, very, very um, informative on the uh, special features there. They 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 go over um, some of the uh, how it was filmed um, down to the director the director dispute on this one uh, down to the. Uh, um, uh, uh, advertisements for this on and uh, what they did for for special run uh, early run in the theater was they gave you a, a a special bag a barf bag is what it was but it had the mark of the devil logo on it and it said all this other stuff on there very 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 smart very cool um, uh, idea to do for your movie in my opinion I think it it really really uh, uh, works for this because it definitely like I said earlier, it really pushes the boundaries for 1970. Um, you got all kinds of crazy torture in here, from the Spanish boot to the uh, uh, being guillotined, or not guillotined, to be uh, 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 your head chopped off, to having your tongue ripped out, to having your feet branded, to to uh, uh, sitting on a, uh, a chair of spikes, you know, there's all kinds of horrible, horrible things that they do to these people in this. It uh, does get a little... Um, the one effect in it that, that made me cringe was the uh, foot branding uh, because that looks... However they did that one, they pulled that off and it looks very, very good still to this day, in my opinion. Uh, it, it could look better, but it definitely it, uh, looks, it looks good still for its age, in my opinion. Now, as far exactly, what is this movie about? Um, it's about a guy named, uh, uh, I forget what Udo Kier's character's name is, is Christian. Christian. Um, Christian is a young, up-and-coming Witchfinder general, um, uh, Herbert Lom is his is his uh, uh, he's Herbert Lom's apprentice, so he definitely um, uh, he's very high ranking. Herbert Lom is is your lead witchfinder general for the area. Um, he comes in and and takes over the place from uh, Reggie Nalder, a, a, who is known as Albino in this movie, who has a very very scarred up face, which you should know him from. He played Mister Barlow in the. Um, uh, Salem's Lot movie, the Toby Hooper classic, the Stephen King film. Uh, he played he played uh, Mr. Barlow in that. Uh, but uh, either way, it doesn't matter. Uh, but he comes in, takes over this this thing. Um, Udo Kier is very reprehensive about this this job. He he's very. Um, uh, 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 I guess he, he's very passive in ways and he's very understanding and he has, he's, uh, has a heart, uh, because he talks about how, what if my mother was, was, um, accused of being a witch? How would I have reacted and things like that? And, you know, talking about how there's innocent people being killed, murdered and tortured and killed over this. And, and uh, uh, Herbert Lom's character basically tells him, like, you knew that this was going to happen, that innocent people will die, and many, many more will. In the name of the, in in the name of God, we are we are doing doing the world a great service by by ridding the world of every bit of uh, satanic witchcraft uh, uh, type type stuff because that's what this is set in the in the uh, oh, 1700s in Austria, by the way. And uh, there, 
if that if that gives you any kind of uh, um, recollection, like or not recollection, but any kind of idea, I mean, uh, of what kind of uh, um, atmosphere we're dealing with. It's it's a period piece, so definitely uh, go in there um, expecting something uh, from olden times. Um, now, as far as your scenery goes in there, the place they filmed it in, it's absolutely stunning. They filmed it on location in an old castle where they actually did do um, executions and things of that nature during the... Uh, um, it's not the Spanish Inquisition, but it's like the... Um, I forget what they called it, but it's when the when they went around killing everybody that was was witches that wasn't part of the Salem witch trials or the Spanish Inquisition. It was part of the uh, the uh, stuff that was going on in in uh, England and in Austria and and Germany and places of that nature at that time. Now, as far as uh, uh, what we got going on with Udo Kier, like I said, he's he's a character with a lot of heart. Um, he falls in love with this girl who who is a kind of a barmaid type. She's a very very good looking gal. Uh, she is um, being harassed by Reggie Reggie Nalder, who is our albino character, who is not an albino by the way, um, but he he. Um, he harasses this girl to the point to where she she slices his face and then he gets her for for, uh, for witchcraft. He takes her in and blah 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 blah. She is she is locked up and and um, our witchfinder general played by Herbert Lom does not um, uh, uh, comply with Udo on on releasing her. He keeps her in in, in the cage. And then you find out other people that are, are uh, uh, innocently taken as well. Like there's this couple that are um, played by, uh, 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 it was, um, oh shit. Either way, um, it, it doesn't matter. It was uh, Adrian Hoven and, and uh, one of the gals in here. It was uh, Gabby Fuchs. She, uh, they talk about how... Um, like they show their characters, they are like uh, puppeteers, and the fact that they are are basically um, treated like witches because these puppets they can they think that they speak on their own, they know their own turn or no answers to everything, and that they're flying and things like that. It's it it shows the intelligence of people back then. Uh, you know, ignorance is is bliss sometimes, I guess. But uh, either way, it showed how stupid they were and how how gullible because um just because some guy says oh that's witches because he didn't agree with the way with with the way they are you know they come up with these these just audacious claims like oh they had sex with the toad over the bones of of a uh, priest while while um encanting satan's uh, chance and it caused every man to go impotent in the area which causes a, a uh, uh, which strikes a nerve uh, uh, with our, our Herbert Lom character who our witchfinder general because he obviously is you you can tell he's he's suffering from impotence and it uh, uh, really sets him off so he sets them away and one of the, one of the torture that they're doing to Hoven is just absolutely just brutal. And yes, I, I Adrian Hoven. Yes, I did say that he was also the co the one, the main director, but he was also one of the stars of the film as well. Um, his character gets some nice water torture going, where they got him strapped down and they got a drip of water just constantly dripping on the same spot. It uh, uh, would be very. Um, horrendous to go through that i imagine it, it it would just be a be brutally agony agonizing because i mean you're not being hurt physically uh but you're you're being hurt um men mentally in in essence so it uh uh really uh um packs a wallop when you do something like that to somebody i i really like it now what else do we got going on in here um like I said, there's a little love, or I didn't say it, but there's a little love story between Udo Kier and and our our barmaid character in here. Um, they they uh, um, 
don't it's it's never really implied that they 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 have they sleep with each other but um you kind of uh, uh kind of get that feeling that they did because he when he helps her the first time um he takes her back to his castle back to the castle and lets her stay feeds her and all that kind of stuff the next morning they go out and have a little ro romantic rendezvous down by the river and shit like that uh but uh either way um you got that going on in there and then and then all the the torturing in between uh, and then it has a great ending it does end a slightly abrupt but um it does have a great ending uh, i definitely it's it's something i didn't see coming that's for sure um, as far as like anything else would go, as far as the torturing, there's, there's people being burned at the, at the stake, uh, being stretched on the rack, like I said earlier, the Spanish boots and on the chair of nails. So you get quite a bit of stuff going on here. And as you can see here on the cover, this gal with her mouth ripped open, she gets her tongue pulled out by, by our, uh, uh, who is that guy uh, Herbert Fuchs is is the character or is the actor that played the character that is essentially our our uh, our witchfinder general's main torturer he goes around and, and he does all the dirty deeds inside the dungeon and things like that uh, so he's kind of an evil 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 uh, uh, so now as far as any kind of ratings would go on this thing, on a technical side, this thing's really well made, like, they, they really put a lot of thought in it, the, the, uh, the, the, the scenery really is a great, um, help to this film, uh, the, the person that they got to do the, uh, the, uh, um, film, the film, the camera, run the camera, the, uh, cinematographer, or whatever, director of photography, whatever you want to call him, um, he definitely made good use of the scenery and was a and very very interesting good camera angles uh the one big downfall to this movie that it has is it's very very slow it does kind of drag in places so it does it does get a little little boring but do stick through it it's very much worth it it's well worth um uh the hour and 36 minutes for it you know all right, guys, I love your faces as always. Oh, I forgot to say, this is probably like a 7 out of 10. Yeah, 7 out of 10, 6 out of 10, right around in there, you know, let's say 6.5. <laughs> All right, love your faces. I'll uh, Hopefully I see you guys tomorrow. If not, I'll see you on Monday. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I'm going to roll out. Awkward ending, Matt. <laughs> Peace, guys.